So howdy everyone! Hello and welcome back to the struggle within. So it's been a few days since I recorded the first video of this series. Uh, I did need a couple of days to recover from everything that we witnessed. Um, I thank you to everyone who did respond uh, in the first video and gave their thoughts on what we've witnessed, which was, you know, craziness, putting it mildly. Um, I was having horrible flashbacks to some other games we've played, like I've been further down the series that just haven't quite been right. Croc 2 horribly came to mind, I had cold shivers in bed that following night, but um, it's fair to say that last video was pretty, pretty incredible. So incredible that I went and did a quick bit of hunting, and to one work out what exactly was going on, and why this game felt so far away from everything that we'd previously done. So I did a bit of investigating, um, and it all revolves largely around this man. Uh, this is Hifumi Kono, and he was the lead uh, director, basically, for uh, Human Entertainment, who are the guys who developed this game. Um, and he was involved, um, you know, developing, obviously, with Clock Tower uh, previously with the NES version and the PlayStation 1 back in 1996. Now, it turned out that although he was asked to once again uh, take over duties for this game, uh, he declined, apparently. Uh, he felt that he just simply didn't have any material uh, to carry on and continue the story along. And so he turned it down and he didn't get involved in it. Uh, someone new ended up taking its place. And as such, the series took this completely different direction that it has now taken. Instead of being like across Europe, it's now in... Well, it's even Osaka if you're in Japan. Apparently the North American version takes place in California. Which makes no sense. Because the train sign was still in Japanese. And everything's Japanese, but whatever. Um, and that leads us to what we witnessed last video. We are going to load the game. So yeah, um, I wish I could say more positive things about what we witnessed so far in this game. I can't do so. Uh, last video was all sorts of rough, and it wasn't the greatest. Now... I can't help but feel also somewhat agree about the fact that our first game over occurred because of some pots and pans. In fact, some dishes. Like, how far we've come from being, you know, attacked by a vicious madman and getting impaled by giant blades to being killed by a plate hitting us in the head. Now, would a plate coming at you at pace give you concussion? Sure, should definitely avoid. Would it put you on the ground unconscious? Mm, probably not. Would it kill you? Not really. But there we go. So, I don't remember what my panic button is. I forget if it's square or if it's X. So we're going to find out here. So here's what you're going to do in the same situation. Slam the panic button. And you should be able to hopefully avoid the situation here. There you go. All right. It's a square button for me. So there we go. Alyssa has avoided impending death, which is good. Oh, would you look at that? There's not even anything to grab in here. It's a complete fucking trap. Because of course it's a fucking trap. I tell you, folks. But yeah, I think even given like the fact that they haven't got the normal people developing the situation in the game, like, um... Wow. Oh. Yeah, this game is unbelievably rough for 1998, and I just can't really. There's not a lot I can really say about it, folks. It's just, it's just bad times. Whoa! Um, what? Okay, she's crazy. More panics. What the hell? Oh, that laugh. Oh, that laugh, everyone. Oh, my God. Right, we're going to need to deal with this situation here. We are under attack, and we must leave immediately. Whoever she is, she's crazy. Shoot. Problem. Come on, take the gun! Oh my god. 
Right, we have we have issues here. That laugh! What the hell? I don't even know. God. Right, we need to find a way to get around this situation. I don't know if we can hide particularly. Problem is, I think Alyssa's just gonna largely just want to hide here. There must be a different route, different way we can get about this situation. I mean, we could just shoot her. It sounds like an idea. We need to get in a position so we can take her on, though. Right, let's get our gun out here. Can't see her. Oh, that doesn't work. And she's like trying to give the gun to the freaking whatever it is. That's not what I want you to do. We need violence. Oh, the door's locked. Well, that's bad. All right, gonna have to dodge out the way here again. Now, much to like previously, again, you're into orange state. Then you go to red. At this point, if we're caught, we're dead. I need to fight back somehow. This fucking voice, man. Right, let's head on down. I have an idea. I don't know if there's anywhere we can particularly hide. I legit think we need to combat here. If we can maybe ditch the amulet somehow or somewhere, maybe then we can, like, actually respond. I have an idea. Maybe we could, like, put it in something. Maybe there was, like, a pot or something in here. Maybe we can, like, put the amulet in here or something. No, it's not an option. Damn. I gotta, gotta fight back here. What the fuck, man? Thanks for the phone call. Oh. Right. Think that might have been possibly a hiding spot. We're dead. Yeah, we're probably dead here, everyone. I don't think we're gonna be able to dodge it this time. Yeah. There we go. We actually legitimately dead there. Okay, that's not so ridiculous. But what the fuck, man? I don't even know. Pretty crazy. I think there is an option to need to do something there, but we just don't have the time to get there in, in, in to get there quickly enough. What are you doing, Alyssa? Get over here, for God's sakes. Even the AI, she just like kindly just stays there and waits for me to exit via the door. Kind of ridiculous. Aha! Ready? It's a duel! Oh. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Do you remember in Clock Tower 2 how our protagonists would like like ambush the killer? Whoa, that was loud. Sorry, folks. Holy damn. Mike's being really sensitive today. But say like in the castle, how like, you know, we'd get hold of the frying pan, but we'd hide behind something and wait for Barrows to get close and then bonk him. Alyssa just grabs a candlestick and lets the mad girl approach her and just and walks away. I don't even I don't even know where to begin. There's nothing in here. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow, it's 
so full. It was an ambush for the sake of an ambush because I clicked in a particular spot that made me fucking ambush. Wow, it's so full. Are you fucking kidding me? I don't even know. I, I'm just... I'm so angry. <laughs> what was the purpose of that then? What did that achieve? We didn't get anything for hitting him. I don't even understand everyone. I don't even get it. I I want to make sense of the situation. I really do. Does this work? Okay, we put down the amulet. This fireplace can still be used. We've not changed, so that's good. That's probably not good. That's probably not good at all. Well, that's let's not get killed by the rapier. What is your problem? <laughs> well, she's coming for us again. And this time, we don't have a candlestick to take her down with. <laughs> For the love of God. I... It just feels so random, doesn't it? Like, he's just doing it for the sake of doing it. Like, I understand that the, you don't get why it's happening or who it is at the moment. But we don't understand why anything's happening at the moment. Things are just occurring. For reasons we've been unable to ascertain at the moment we get out of here. Preferably before we get murdered. Oh, apparently I she's going to catch up to me before I can do anything. Oh, that's awesome. The donk. Oh, wow. Okay, so now we've changed into baits, which is interesting. So maybe now that we're baits, now we can take different actions than we could have done previously, right? Actions like, you know, violence. Actions like shooting this damn thing. Oh, yeah. Come get you some. Yeah. Nice. Just got gatted. <laughs> just shot her. Sweet. All right, I can do this. It's just poof, gone. Okay, so if you're a bait, you can shoot things. Alyssa won't do it. Okay, that makes some degree of sense. Obviously, she's now gone, which is understandable. So, okay. Why can't you take the gun? This will make things easier. But it won't because you won't take it. Uh... So I'm assuming if we wanted to, we could come back here and I'm just going to save first. We can come back here. We can collect the amulet and then return back into our. Uh... OK, so we get the choice to pick it up. So if we say yes. OK, we go back to Alyssa. Okay, that makes that makes a degree of sense. I don't necessarily know if we want to, however, so we're not going to do that right now. What we need to do is try and think of a way to um, proceed through here. And that's the problem we have here. This is like, this is just complete guesswork. There's no, 
obvious clues as to what we need to do here. This is just simply guessing. Um, and it's not even like guessing that's educated. This is just blind leading the blind. It's kind of a problem. I know. It's such a shame as well. Like, the, the, the second game had so much kind of like innate charm. He had wacky characters and, you know, the whole sort of map system, which was not perfect by any stretch of imagination, but at least kind of like gave you an idea of plot and direction. I mean, that's the big thing. Like, both the games before this have had direction. This game just doesn't have it. This is the first chapter. Numero uno. One. And we have no idea what we're doing. And we have no idea why we're doing it. We just don't know. And our attempts to work out what we're doing are largely failing. And it's not even like you don't know what's going on. And it's like, um, you know, you feel kind of obliged to keep exploring. Like, it's just... It just feels completely aimless. And it's so, so disappointing. It's like I'm waiting for the game to kind of jump at me and kind of say, hey, you need to actually be doing this. At the moment, we just don't know. Ooh, first AK. Oh, we just healed. Ooh, okay. All right, that's handy. So we found some first aid and we've actually just straight healed up. And there's nothing else in there. Okay, that's good. We'll, we'll take the health. That'll be handy. And the other issue we've also got is because we've got to, we've also got to be able in the right form. So it might be something that only Bates can do, but Alyssa can't. Or maybe it's the other way around. I don't know. We have no way of knowing at the moment. Um, all we've got is a gun. And that's about it. Other than that, it's just, we're just guessing here at the moment. There must be something we can interact with that we couldn't previously. Or something we've missed. All right, let... Statue? What is this? It, it's possessed. Ouch! Mm. It has some kind of power. What's that scream? Santa Claus. Oh, it must be broken. I'm going to kill you. God damn it. She's like, hey, I was listening to that. I'm like, yeah, you certainly were. <gasps> Alright, we're gonna have to lose the heat here before we can uh, look to investigate whatever that scream may or may not have been. Alright, where are we going then? Up here, I suppose? We need to find a way to deal the situation, probably by bonking it on the head. We still have the amulet on us, so Bates won't uh, won't take us over here. We need to find a weapon. Preferably. Or we can just get out of here, I guess. Yeah, she's coming. I'm trying to find some kind of... Uh, some kind of weapon to use here, but we don't have it. Fucking laugh, man. I hate life. 
The fact that it's the same laugh over and over again as well, it's just so brutal. And it's like this as well, it's just like, she just stands and just stares at the knife, and we're dead. Good. I said good. I didn't mean good, but like, I'm almost glad that we're dead. Just... I don't even know, folks. Can I just walk through? Oh. I mean, we have to deal with the situation here, however. It's like we're magnetized here as well. It's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous, everyone. If you ever wanted a, um, something to describe the situation of the game in front of you. Here it is. Some kind of power. Now, this is not something that I say often. What's that scream? On things in my channels, I just make some save states here. I don't say this very often about many games that I've ever played on this channel, but this this is a bad game. It just is. Like it's just. I get some of the ideas that this game is going for. I get like some of the thoughts behind it. I get the the fact you want to try this dual kind of personality system. It's it's kind of cool. It's an interesting concept, you know, that kind of um, who you are changes a bit as you go through and manages to, like, you know, you interact with different situations in different ways depending on um, who you are. The problem you have is that you kind of really, when you're doing this, and you decide to um, to kind of like give this option to people. You don't actually want to make it be an option. She's out of here. She's not interested anymore. The right call. But yeah, it's just that that's kind of where I'm at on this one, folks. It's um If you're gonna have this dual personality system, which I get it, you either have to have it really tight and refined. I.e. you kind of like um you kind of sort of have it as a choice for people, but you don't. In that it's very fixed in when you change about. And you don't, you can't just quite change it on a whim. Um, is that the light for at this room actually outside, possibly? I don't know. Um, because when you just leave it as open ended as this is, you just, as I've mentioned before, you just go heavily into the, um, the trial and error sort of, um, realm where you literally just kind of do the same thing twice almost entirely across the game in the hopes of finding things happening different and being able to find what answer it is you're There's looking something for written here Ooh. it says help someone knew what they were talking about trying to find some extra goods here 
You found a pistol, but left it where it is. What? Have you seen what's trying to kill you in this house? Now, I know we already have a gun, and I guess this is an additional place to try and find it. What the fuck? Just take the ammo or something. Put it in a box. Anything. Man. So frustrating. All right. So it sounds like Philip's got himself in some trouble here. So we should probably try and locate him and work out what's going on in the world. Although he could be, like, anywhere. Well, that fell down, and it just vanished into the ether. It just does not exist anymore. <laughs> I love that. It doesn't fall down under the ground. It's just not there. So random. I'm going to kill you. Is that bait? I don't think that's bait. Why well, bait's one is dead anyway? So confusing. Philip! Philip! Are you there? Hello? I'm going to kill you. Well, what do you know? It's haunted. Well, son of a bitch. Get the thing. Oh yeah, now you're screwed. I'm going to kill you. God damn it. Maybe she's like also got like a split personality. Like we've got Bates that's like our other half and she's got like someone else. I don't fucking know. Get the plant pot. Here we go. And we just stand there. I'm not even doing anything here. Oh, and Stephanie, she... I'm sorry. Wait, who? Wait, you know who this is? I. I didn't know that was Stephanie. What? In 10 years of Let's Playing and streaming on this channel, this has got to be the worst storytelling I have ever seen in a video game. I challenge you to find me a game that I've played on this channel, which was worse. And just more... At no point have you, like, gone and remarked or anything. When you first sort of just, like, like, Stephanie, what do you know? Or, or anything. Or, like, nothing. We just expected to know that. Why? Oh, man. And now it's, like, we've now, like, we've been upstairs. We found the statue... Which has caused for it to scream. So now we have to scout the entire building to try and find out where the screen came from in order to like further the game. That's literally what we're doing here. We've like we've we've gone to point C. We went to point C and interact the thing. So now we have to find point D, which could be, you know, anywhere. We will find Philip. Door is locked. Okay, so we've got a, still got a couple doors that we need to find keys for, preferably. Where those keys are, I don't know. But we'll find them nonetheless. Oh, 
Okay, so now I can interact with these doors here, which I couldn't earlier. Because plot. Okay, that door is locked. What about this door over here? Is this door still locked? Or is it locked? Or is it not locked? Or what's going on? Door is also locked. Okay, so we've got a couple of locked doors that I couldn't interact with earlier. Because... Need to find a solution. Maybe there's something behind one of these pictures. Like, I don't know. Let's take him down. Oh. More panics. I'll try not to die here. It's like, it, it seems like the game's just constantly trying to, like, ambush me as well, which is really frustrating. Like, really frustrating. Like, you feel forced to explore everything because you have nothing else to do. But the majority of things that you're exploring end up causing these situations. And you're having to, like, defend yourself. Or just run around for ages. Here comes the candlestick again. That is just so uninspiring. <laughs> That's the only way I can put it. It is so uninspired. There's no... It's... <sighs> there's no way I can finish this game, everyone. I just... There's, there's no way. I kind of want to just see this chapter out. But I'm just blundering around here if no direction and no idea what I'm doing or where I'm meant to go next. I haven't a clue. I don't know where to go. I, I feel I've got to look this up. All right, then. So after a bit of looking around and whatnot, I think I know what we've got to go ahead and do next here, although it's kind of hard to tell. This isn't a game. Funny. Funny joke is funny. So if we head into this uh, room here, we can obviously go outside and go onto the porch here. I think we've got to head out this way because, like, I can't really find anywhere else to go here. Now, if we come all the way across, we've obviously got the door here that's locked from this side. Except now it's not. Stephanie? Michael. Michael! Do you know who Michael is? Don't be so scared. Stop! He's very dead, everyone. He is very, very dead. Michael, too. Said very matter of factually, mind you. All right, well, let's have a look around, I suppose. There's not much else to be doing here. Work out what the hell's going on here. There's see no a weapon under there. To use the computer either. What do you mean? Don't you know how to use computers? Yeah, there's a kendo stick there. Might be of some use. Is there anything else for to use here? That's the exit. We have a closet here. We have a key. All right, okay. Progress. We have the bedroom key. Uh. Okay. Now where do we go then? We'll see. I'll just follow this way for a guess. I'm guessing this takes us back into the main hallway. Yeah, this is the door that's been locked up here this whole time. Okay then. So my only guess is that this Stephanie is meant to be like the youngest daughter or something. And she's like possessed or something. That's my only guess. Because the game's, again, not bothered to tell us a damn thing. So we're left to try and join up some dots here. Which is, you know... 
Not great, but it's where we're at. All right, I'm gonna just save, uh, put a save state down here. So, we need to just, there's a load of doors here that are all locked. So we're just gonna try all of these and see if this works on any of them. Doesn't work on that one, okay. See what's going on in here then. It's just so much backwards and forwards, everyone. Ugh. Stop, Stephanie, stop, please. Uh oh. Uh, that's not good. She probably needs some assistance. Hello. That's locked. Uh oh. Uh, that one. Okay, that works. Good. Good, 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 good. It sounds like we could have uh, an interesting situation here. Just gonna put a save state down just in case. Hello? Uh oh. Yeah. That's a problem. Um. Oh! Get up! Donk! Catherine, run! Hurry, run! Uh oh. We're about to change, probably. Put some more motion into it, please. <laughs> You know, maybe this is the mercy ending. You know, maybe, maybe this is the ending that we all need to just say, just call it a day and say this one wasn't meant to be. <laughs> well, we're dead, everyone. We got the M rank. All right. That is so far below F, you don't even know it. Alright, now that's going to be all for this video here for uh, Clock Tower 2. Thank you all for watching. How far down this rabbit hole do I really want to go? That's a question I found myself asking. Like, I, um, I try not to knock down my displays. That's a question I feel like I have to ask myself here. I have to kind of decide how much of this I think I can go through. The answer is probably not a huge amount. But I want to at least complete the first chapter. And we'll go from there. Maybe this game, once you get out of this beginning section. And the game gives an opportunity to itself to actually explain what the hell is going on. And things start making more sense. Maybe this is more enjoyable. But yeah, this is without doubt one of the roughest starts to a video game I have ever seen in my life. And think of the ground that covers. Oof. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time.